Hello everyone and welcome to our Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship webinar with Antwerp Management School. My name is Paula and I'm the moderator of this webinar on behalf of PrepAdvisor. Today our presenters Robin De Kock, Academic Director and Laura Host, Recruitment Manager both at Antwerp Management School. Uh, will be here to tell you more about their program and you have the chance to ask them any questions about the admission process and the program details. Uh, during the webinar, you can have the chance to send your questions in the chat box and after the presentation is over, they will answer your questions. Uh, now, I would only want to check with you if the sound is good. Can you please everyone write in the chat, yes, if you can hear me right now. This is for all the attendees. If you can hear me, can you please write yes? Okay, okay, so it looks like everything's great. We can start the presentation now. Robin and Laura, you can start. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're joining us from. As Polia, Polia already mentioned, my name is Laura. I'm the Recruitment Manager at Antwerp Management School, and my colleague Robin is also joining us today. He's the Academic Director of uh, the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. To get started, let's have a look at the agenda for today. Um, so, first of all, I'll do a small introduction about Antwerp Management School in general. Then I'll pass the floor to Robin, who will uh, tell you more about the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And then finally, I'll also explain to you how you can apply for this program. And of course, we also have a Q&A section. So if you have any questions, please ask them at the end and um, we'll make sure we'll get around to it. So Antwerp Management School, uh, it's really important to know that we are an internationally recognized business school. We're located in the heart of Belgium uh, in Antwerp. Um, what gives a degree value is accreditations and rankings, and we're happy to tell you that uh, we're fully AACSB accredited, which is an American accreditation, uh, also a global accreditation system. Furthermore, we also have the NVAO accreditation. This is for the Belgian and the Dutch government, so that means if you would get a degree here, you would also be able to find a job here in Belgium or in the Netherlands. Finally, what we're really proud of is that for a couple of years in a row, we've been ranked number one in Belgium by the Financial Times for a Masters in Management and number 30 worldwide. We also like to call ourselves the world within a school. Uh, at the moment, we have 33 different nationalities and in Antwerp alone, there's 170 nationalities. So this makes us the second most diverse city in Europe. I also want to add that a lot of our faculty uh, is international, so they're coming from all over the world. So even if you would stay in one place for a year here in Antwerp, you would get a really international experience. Now that we're doing this info session, it's a great opportunity for me to also shed some light on the other programs that we offer. So we have seven English speaking master programs uh, here at Antwerp Management School and two in Dutch. We're only going to talk about the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship today, but if any of these programs uh, sparks your interest, then feel free to contact me afterwards and I'd be happy to give you some more information. So it's now time for me to pass the floor to Robin, who will tell you something more about our Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Okay, thank you, Lara. Um, so let's have a closer look at the what we call the MIE. So if I talk about the MIE, I mean the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Uh, but before we dive into the MIE, uh, I'm going to briefly introduce myself. So I did a PhD at Ghent University. And during my PhD, I interviewed more than 400 uh, tech entrepreneurs in Europe, but also in the US and Silicon Valley. And I was also a policy advisor for the European Commissions in matters concerning innovation and entrepreneurship. After spending three years in London at the Imperial College Business School, I joined Antwerp Management School as a professor in entrepreneurship and also as the uh, academic director of the MIE, so the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. So, what are we going to focus on? Uh, so first I'm going to explain the mission of the MIE. 
I'm going to explain the MIE program and I will give you 10 reasons why you should definitely join uh, our master. So, when I talk about the MIE, I like to say that we're on a mission. A mission to educate and support people from all over the world that want to create new things that matter for society. Whether you are in a corporate setting or you want to work as a, uh, or set up your own uh, startup, it doesn't matter. So to wrap up, our MIE is really about educating and supporting people all over the world that want to create new things that matter for society. So you directly see the importance that we uh, give to uh, sustainability, the fact that we are a very international master and that we're focused on how you can turn ideas into reality. Whatever this reality may be, whether this is a project, whether this is a, a startup company, whether this is a, a leading innovation in a corporate uh, setting, whether you have the idea to revamp the family business of your parents, that doesn't matter. It's about turning ideas into reality. Okay, so let's focus on the uh, MIE uh, program. I like to say that we're not a traditional master in uh, innovation entrepreneurship. And why is that? We're not a typical master where you have like uh, six months of general courses. No, we directly focus really on innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, we're also not the, the typical master where at the end you have two months where you quickly uh, have to come up with, um, with a few ideas. No, we're really, really a master where you already apply your knowledge from in the beginning of the year. Okay, so how do we position ourselves? Well, I think we have a lot of uh, similarities with an accelerator. I don't know whether you guys at home know what the accelerator uh, is, but accelerator is typically a six month uh, program where you try to uh, turn your ideas into reality and where you have a very action oriented approach, very applied, where you have a mentoring coach and so on. So it's really action oriented. So we are MIE has a lot of uh, characteristics of an accelerator. However, this accelerator also has its uh, disadvantages. What we often see with accelerators is that it is very uh, practical. Uh, people tend to make mistakes that are difficult to turn around at the later stage. So they miss some kind of academic rigor. So that's why we do not say that we're an accelerator. On the other hand, you will have the uh, masters at the university, which are typically very academic. Um, and we have the MIE also has a very uh, academic uh, rigor, uh, but we're not a typical master at the university because that's often a master which is too academic, too theoretical, and doesn't have a real connection with the industry. So we have the positive sides of both uh, models, let's say. So let's have a look at the, at, at the program, the MIE program. So we have three building blocks, inspire, build, and grow. In the inspire phase, you will learn to be creative, to generate, and but also evaluate opportunities. So typically you will have courses on creative thinking, design thinking. You will learn about the markets and technology of tomorrow, but you also learn how to protect your ideas that you develop which is really important. When you have a clear uh, idea, or more or less a clear idea, you can start to learn how to build a business around it. So you have to learn something about the strategy. You have to learn about how to make a business model. You have to um, also learn how to develop a prototype. And also, you need to learn about how you can do that in a more corporate setting, how you can lead innovation in a big, large corporate uh, venture. In the third phase, we focus on how you can grow your business and really have courses on sales, on marketing, on uh, finance, and on growth strategy. So these are all the courses and they are given by uh, really good professors, but also by practitioners like CEOs of big companies, like um, entrepreneurs, policymakers, and so on. So this is the academic rigor that we provide. The unique thing is that we also have uh, the Startup Bootcamp and the Innovation Entrepreneurship Labs, where you directly already from day one can apply the knowledge that you gained uh, during uh, our uh, master. 
So in the beginning, you have a startup bootcamp. And in the startup bootcamp, you have four to five weeks to come up with an interesting idea. At the end of the startup bootcamp, we will evaluate your idea and you will have a choice. You could say, okay, I'm going to further develop my startup idea in the Innovation Entrepreneurship Labs. Or you could say, no, I really want to work on an innovation challenge. And then we have one day at AMS where uh, a lot of interesting, really cool companies come to present their real innovation challenges. And you have the opportunity already from in the beginning of the year to work on these innovation challenges and the innovation entrepreneurship labs. In the innovation entrepreneurship labs, you will be guided by um, different international um, uh, mentoring coaches. And I will talk to, uh, about these coaches uh, in a few minutes. Two important elements that I want to add to here. First of all, we have a clear focus on sustainability, a very strong focus on sustainability. Mm -hmm. So throughout the year, you have different moments where we really reflect on your business ideas uh, and, and whether um, uh, experts are going to screen whether these ideas are really sustainable. And a second important um, element in the program, which will um, be given throughout the year is a personal development uh, track. In the personal development track, we really look at you as a person and we really, you will learn a lot of soft skills. You will learn to work in a team. You will learn to lead a team. You will learn on conflict management, stress management, time management, uh, and so on. And you will also get a lot of career advice. Okay, so this is the MIE team. We have uh, myself uh, as the academic director. We have Elise Meyer, who is the managing director of the Innovation Entrepreneurship Labs. She's a senior uh, consultant at uh, Deloitte and also has two uh, startup uh, companies. Then we have Sarah. Sarah is our pro program manager, so she manages the, pro uh, the program. And then we have Nadine, she's the uh, program coordinator, and Eileen. Uh, is the internal sales person. So she makes sure that we have interesting companies every year that present their innovation uh, challenges. All right, so <clears throat> let me give you 10 reasons why I think you should definitely follow the MIE. The first reason I would say this is a real boutique business school. So uh, we really care about your personal uh, development. You're not in a traditional business school where you're number or student 234. No, we really know you and we really want to know you. And we also want you to feel at home here. And that's why our slogan is opening minds, touching souls and energizing business. And that's why we also have this personal development track where I uh, already give a, a bit of uh, information where you learn a lot of soft skills, uh, learn to lead a team, learn to work in a team, learn on stress management, also learn to work with other cultures. So we also have a workshop on intercultural awareness and stuff like that. So really useful skills. And also regarding your career, we give you personalized, and it's really important, personalized career advice. Uh, we also have different career fairs uh, organized at uh, AMS. All right. The second reason why I think you should follow the MIE and where we stand out uh, if you compare it with other masters is that we have a strong focus on innovation entrepreneurship already from day one. Um, so you learn to turn your ideas into reality, whether this is a project, whether this is a business company, whether your own startup company, whether you want to lead innovation in a large corporate or whether you want to revamp uh, the uh, family business of your parents. Of course, you will learn about the basics of strategy, of marketing, of finance, but all our teachers really go uh, almost directly to the specific context of uh, a startup company or a big uh, innovative uh, uh, corporate or a corporate that wants to innovate. So in the end, you should be fully equipped to kickstart your career, right? Also important to mention is that we don't use traditional ways of teaching. So not the ways you are probably used to in your un universities. No, we really have a, a very practice oriented way of teaching where we use a lot of cases where you have um, 
uh, a lot of teamwork and group presentations uh, and so on. So we want to push you out of your comfort zone and really push you where the magic happens, right? Okay, the third reason why I think you should follow the MIE is that you could already from day one again, work on your own startup idea or work on a real life innovation challenge. And this on the supervision of our experienced mentoring coaches. These are one of the companies that presented their innovation uh, challenges this year. And this is our uh, team, international team of mentoring coaches. Uh, so during the Innovation Entrepreneurship Labs, they will guide you, help you with your startup idea, and also help you with your um, innovation challenge. So Steve, for instance, is a US uh, investor. He comes from the US. Axel is from Germany. He also, uh, also has a lot of investment experience in startup companies. Kurt also has a lot of investment experience. Remco is our Dutch guy. He is an innovation expert. And Sven is a Belgian um, uh, director of uh, uh, VOCA, which is an important uh, government initiative. So he has the, a huge network in the region. And then every year we invite an entrepreneur in residence. So this is a successful serial entrepreneur, which means that he set up different uh, ventures uh, in his uh, life, and he's going to join this team. Okay, fourth reason is that you can really kickstart your career. Um, we produced many entrepreneurs and many startups over the years. Uh, we placed young people at innovative, creative jobs in large, exciting corporates, and we also helped and support people to revamp the family business of their parents. Give you an example of the startups that came out of the MIE. These are quite a lot if you see that the MIE was started in 2011. And that's also probably because you already have the opportunity to work on your startup ID from in the beginning. Uh, so you have like almost a year to work on it. And they got a lot of media attention also, as you can see. But on the other side, we also have a lot of people um, uh, MIE students, alumni, who have uh, great jobs at uh, very innovative and very cool companies like the companies which are presented on, on the slide. Fifth reason is that you will have the opportunity to integrate in Antwerp, in the startup and innovation scene of Antwerp. And you probably know Antwerp from uh, the seaport maybe, or maybe of the uh, very big, uh, large uh, diamond industry. But uh, Antwerp is also a very creative uh, city. Antwerp uh, is known for uh, some of its um, uh, world famous uh, fashion designers. So there's a lot of creativity here and there's also a fast growing startup and innovation uh, scene. Um, we have a city which also supports entrepreneurs and uh, innovators and give them uh, a lot of chances. So this is really nice. And besides this, Antwerp is a really dynamic uh, city, uh, a, a very trendy city, and also a city with a large student uh, population. Then we also have an international trip. So um, you will have the opportunity in the build phase. So remember our MIE program in the build phase, you will really start to build and design your business around uh, your idea. And you will learn to do that in Milan, in one of the most uh, famous uh, fashion, or <coughs> famous, sorry, design schools uh, in uh, Milan. So you will work on an uh, innovation sprint, uh, and you will work on an innovation challenge of uh, an uh, interesting company together with those uh, Italian uh, students. So we will mix up with the uh, Italian students. So this is a really nice experience. The seventh reason is uh, the fact that we also have with the MIE a very strong focus on sustainability. And for me, that's maybe one of the most important uh, reasons uh, to follow the MIE. Um, because if you look at <coughs> our economy at this moment of time, and I was allowed to make a few more academic uh, uh, slides, so don't drop out. It's really interesting. Um, so um, if you look at what um, economists have focused on in the last couple of decennia, uh, then they focused mainly on growth, growth in GDP, GDP. But what we see actually is that 
this growth in GDP all, only has a return of 1% to the people. So actually, you could ask yourself the question, growth for who? A second problem also is that this growth uh, and obsessive growth sometimes in GDP leads or, or, or push over uh, the boundaries of our planet. Um, so the global footprint of our countries is way beyond what the planet can take. So in other words, the um, last century uh, economist did not see this uh, picture and came up with economies that are or economic theories that are not relevant anymore. So we need something different. And luckily there is a new movement of economists which really value uh, sustainability and incorporate it in their economic theories. And I really advise you to read one of these books uh, presented here on this slide. So why do we focus on sustainability? We really want you, you are, you at home, ladies and gentlemen, are the uh, future managers, innovators and entrepreneurs. So you, you really are the uh, future engines of our economy and you have the power, the potential to change uh, industries and really change economies to become more uh, regenerative uh, economies. So economies that use and reuse uh, resources. And we at the MIE, we really want you to learn more about the circular economy, about the business models that are out there and really push you to screen and reflect on your own business idea and reflect what the impact could be on society. So I find this really, really valuable. The eighth reason why you should follow the MIE is that we are a highly ranked uh, business school, like Laura already said in the beginning of her uh, presentation. For entrepreneurship, we're top 30 uh, in the world. Uh, and we're also highly ranked on the Financial Times uh, ranking. Ninth important reason is that um, we develop a lot of uh, new knowledge. And this new knowledge is used in our courses. So you will get uh, very new uh, uh, insights that you don't get in other business schools. So it's uh, all our um, uh, masters are really backed by high quality research. And I would advise you to really have a look at our uh, EMS competence centers and also at our EMS uh, blog. And finally, the last reason, it's really hard work. It's an intensive year, but it's also a lot of fun. This is a picture I took of uh, a part of the MIE class after my course of uh, entrepreneurial strategy. And we just said we have, we'll have a drink uh, in a pub next door to uh, AMS and we really had a great time. And this is also part of uh, your journey. And you will also uh, have a lot of opportunities to mix up with uh, the masters in global management or the masters in fashion management and go on an international trip to Dublin, uh, participate in the, uh, in the Google Digital Master Academy, uh, sit in the uh, student council and so on. If you want to learn more about uh, AMS Live, then check out our uh, student blog uh, um, at, um, at Android Management School, right? Okay, so we... We also have a hashtag uh, yeah. on Instagram, so uh, if you want to check out some pictures of our student life online on Instagram, you can do that. Just look for the hashtag AMS Live. Okay, all right, cool. So these are the 10 reasons why we think you should definitely apply for the uh, MIE. And like in every good innovation uh, presentation, you also have one more thing, uh, like good old Steve Jobs uh, would have said. Um, we have an entire new business school from next year on. So this summer, we're going to move to uh, a new exciting place in the middle of uh, the fashion uh, quarter in, um, in Antwerp. So this is uh, surrounded by many restaurants, by many pubs, a really nice uh, environment and really a school that is fully equipped according and in line with our values and uh, the things that we want to, uh, want to do, right? All right, so Laura, the floor is yours. The floor is mine, thank you. Um, so let's get to the practical side of it. Uh, some an important question for you guys probably, what is this gonna cost? Uh, the tuition fee is, as you can see, it's 12,950 euros. This covers uh, your course fees for the entire year. It also covers the trip to Milan that Robin was just talking about, the networking events we organize, the career service we offer. So things like that are included. What's not included, of course, are your living expenses and your travel costs. 
Um, just want to mention that uh, this tuition fee, we know that it's quite a big investment, but um, if you look at the prices uh, in the business school market, we still are relatively inexpensive compared to uh, the value and the rankings that we actually offer here in our school. The program starts, uh, we only have one intake per year and it starts in August, uh, so the next one would be August 2018 and it ends, well, it's mentioned in August, but basically your project and, and you would graduate in June, but if you would have any retakes, then uh, that would mostly be over summer, I think. So if you're interested in applying for this program, uh, it's good to know uh, who we are actually looking for. So basically we're looking for young graduates, uh, students who have a bachelor's or a master's degree. Um, you don't need a background in economics or something specific, specific, you just need to have a strong interest in innovation and entrepreneurship. And you don't need any work experience. However, if you have one, two, three, maximum four years of work experience, you could still apply. And then finally, you need to be open-minded and ambitious, of course. So if you want to apply, there's three steps in the application process. The first one is just applying online. So that means you have to upload all your documents. That's your motivation, uh, your CV, your transcripts, also an English proficiency test that can be either TOEFL or IELTS. Unless you could come to Antwerp and do the interview here, because as you will see, the last step of the process is an interview. So, but once you've uploaded everything online, you will get um, a link to an online assessment from us. This assessment consists of two tests, a verbal and a numerical reasoning test. They both take 30 minutes each, and you could consider them as a light version of the GMAT. If you've taken a GMAT, however, you can also just send us your score, and in that case, you do not need to take the online assessment. Finally, you will be invited for an interview that can be here on campus in Antwerp if it's possible, possible for you to come here. If not, we can do the interview via Skype as well. One or two weeks after this interview, we will already let you know if you got in. Important to know is, of course, the deadlines. So for non-EU citizens, this is the 1st of June. It's been a couple of months already. For EU citizens, this is the 15th of August. However, uh, we do recommend to apply sooner because the Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship is one of our more popular programs and we've received many applications so far. I would say uh, try, if you really want to secure a spot, try to do it before uh, Easter break because that's usually the period where we get a big push from the Belgian students as well. And as mentioned here, we work on a rolling admission basis. So basically when our program is full, it's full and um, we allow, I think, maximum 35 to 40 students per, uh, per year. All right, so um, that's it for the presentation today. Uh, we are happy to answer some of your questions, so uh, let's have a look. Um, all right, so. Um, uh, so someone's asking about the a, a formal education. So basically there is, um, the, the basic requirement is that you have at least a bachelor's or a master's degree. So in case you do not have any of these degrees, unfortunately it's not possible to apply for this program. Um, we cannot do this also because we're accredited and there's a lot of rules we need to um, well, take into account. Um, what's the student's profile you're looking for? Um, like Laura said in her presentation, we really want to have people that have uh, an interest and really a passion for uh, entrepreneurship and innovation. And that is the most important thing. We have very diverse backgrounds in our MIE at the moment. So um, we don't have a specific uh, preference mm -hmm. regarding this. Only the passion and the ambition needs to be there. That's yeah. really important. Yeah. I would say that the, this uh, master program is very diverse because we have people who are really creative and who are product designers and they want to come up, they have an idea and they want to create a business plan around it. But then on the other hand, you also have more business minded people who are actually not creative at all, but they do succeed in getting the right people around the table to make something work. So it's, it's hard to say like, what is the exact uh, perfect student for this program? All right, so um, 
is it a full time or a part time uh, program? It's only full time. So um, unfortunately, it's not possible to come to classes only once in a while, or it's not possible to do it from a distance. You really need to be here on campus um, every day. Like the classes are mandatory, even. So. But the advantage sometimes people uh, ask us whether they could set up their startup company or are planning to set up their startup company. You have the um, uh, the room in this program to from day one already work on your startup idea in the innovation entrepreneurship labs. Of course, you need to attend the courses, but you also will have time to work on your startup idea. So that can be combined. Of course, a full time job in a large corporate is not uh, um, cannot be combined with with our. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, um, moving on to the next question. Maria asked, what is the most important part of the application process? Is it the GMAT or is it the essays? I would say we really look at the full picture. So um, don't be scared that if you failed some classes or you had to do some retakes, uh, don't be scared that we will not even consider you. That's not the case. We look at the total picture. So your motivation, the online assessment you take, also your grades and then the interview. I would say the interview is very important as well because we want to see if you will fit in our school. We are a small community um, and, and we want to see if you have the AMS DNA. So uh, I would say that's quite important as well. Okay. So, um, so Katie, if you want to work with us, you need to uh, send us an email. I think it, that's a better way of uh, communicating. Yes, um, yeah, that's to Katie specifically, who's yeah. asking um, about a collaboration. Yeah. Then uh, the scholarships, of course, an important question as well. Um, at the moment, we have three partially funded scholarships of 5,000 euro. If you want to apply for this, you need to actually already be admitted to the school and paid your first installment. So basically, the, the partially funded scholarships are for students who already commit to the school and will come anyway. Um, we are looking into a loan system with, with an organization called Prodigy. You might have heard about it. Uh, so it's possible that we'll be able to use this uh, in, in one month time. It hasn't been confirmed yet. But if you have any questions about that or if you're interested in that, you can also send me an email afterwards. Um, so, I to go yeah, yeah, I wanted to first pick in on, on the question of uh, Nimet, uh, who asked whether we could show the uh, slide again on the uh, recommended econom uh, economist uh, books. So I'm glad somebody asked the question of my academic uh, slides. So um, we definitely can provide you this. And it's maybe better to send us an email or send Laura an email so I can give you yeah. the slide with all the uh, recommended yeah. uh, reading. Um, yeah. Right. Is it a very mathematical program is another uh, question. Um, I think uh, you will have entrepreneurial finance and entrepreneurial finance is a bit mathematical, but that's still okay. And we really take you from in the beginning. We really have very, like I already said, very different backgrounds coming from all over the world. So we're not sure whether someone has finance or not. So we really start from the beginning. So if you're passionate and if you're ambitious, uh, ambitious and you really uh, uh, keep up really fast and, and mathematics shouldn't be a problem for you. And, and please keep in mind we're a business school it's not the same as university we are no. not acad extremely academic so for us the practice is more important yeah. than, than the theory so yeah. um, don't don't think it's the same as university. And again here comes in the personal approach so if you are not good in mathematics the teachers are always open to uh, give you more explanations and that, that's really a benefit of this, uh, of this business school. All right, Anna asks what would be considered as a good GMAT score for this program. Um, I would say a, a GMAT as of uh, 580 and up is a good score. Um, but I, as, I told, as I told you before, we look at the full picture. So let's say you have a GMAT score which is a bit lower, then please don't hesitate to apply anyway or to contact me before, because if you have an interesting profile, um, I mean, there's still a chance that you, you would be able to join this program. Um, so if you want to join as a PhD with a PhD background and 11 years of experience, mm -hmm. that's really nice. But that's, uh, I think it's a bit too much for, for the MIE program. Then you better send me an email and we could uh, talk about yeah. a postdoc uh, yeah. 
uh, position yeah. or something like that. Yeah, because these, these full-time master programs, they really target recent graduates. And the, I would say the average, average age of the student in the program is about 23. And usually they have no work experience at all. So um, it's different if you work with someone who has, well, 11 uh, years of work experience, because in that case, usually we start from the practice and then we see what theory we can apply to it or what models we can add. Um, and, and well, that's a bit different uh, for full-time masters for recent graduates then. Um, so I think we covered the scholarship questions. Um, What's the cultural diversity like, asks uh, Maria. Well, as mentioned, we have 33 nationalities at this point. Um, all of our classes are in English. We do have connections with a language school here in Antwerp. So if you would want to take some Dutch courses, uh, that's definitely possible. We've had students who did it before because they wanted to uh, find a job in Belgium. And that, of course, increases your chances to find a job if you speak uh, French or Dutch. Of course, uh, we've also had students who found a job here and they don't speak French or Dutch. So even if, if you do not speak the language here, it's definitely possible to find a job. Um, then a question about the IELTS score. What's the minimum? Uh, we asked for a 6.5 overall score minimum. And uh, adding on to that, if you did a TOEFL test, we asked for 95 um, score minimum. But again, if your score is just a bit lower than this, uh, don't hesitate to contact me and, and I can check whether you still are eligible for the program. So we had another question regarding uh, the classes, whether uh, the classes will be held on a daily basis. This really depends from week to week. Uh, normally we have every day a class, but there are also periods where you have like more time to do market research for your startup, uh, for instance, or for your innovation challenge. So then you have maybe two or three days where you have uh, not mm -hmm. free time, but you have time to work on your innovation challenge or, or your um, uh, startup mm -hmm. idea. Um, well, do you have access to mentors who have knowledge on technological innovation? Um, is another question? For sure, for sure, because we have um, uh, Chris Dumont, uh, is also one of our mentoring coaches, and he has a strong link with uh, IMEC. And probably, if you're in technology, you might know uh, iMac, which is one of the uh, really great uh, um, technological uh, institutions here in, uh, in Flanders and also in Belgium. So we have mentoring coaches with a lot of uh, technical uh, backgrounds. Um, and you also need to know that we uh, will appoint uh, mentoring coaches to one team. So they will give you additional uh, coaching besides the, the four or five innovation entrepreneurship labs. Um, so we definitely have coaches with a lot of uh, technical uh, experience and also experience in, in bringing these technologies to the markets, which is also an important skill. All right, so uh, last question maybe. Someone, uh, Giti, is asking about uh, the, the employer letter that's needed in order to apply. Um, Giti, I will get back to you in person. I'll send you an email afterwards, but I can just say that in order to apply, normally we don't need an employer letter. So um, you should be fine uh, not mentioning this to your employer yet. I think we covered all the questions um, that you asked. If not, uh, the list is being sent to us and I will double check. If your question hasn't been answered now, then I will be in touch with you later this week uh, to answer your question. And of course, uh, all the information that's been shared now on how to apply, when is the deadline, things like this, I will also send them to you afterwards in an email because I will receive your contact details. So, uh, hi, everyone again from Prep Advisor. Uh, Robin, do you want to say something? No, I, I guess Sorry. it is not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, thank everyone uh, for joining us. I would like to thank our wonderful presenters again for the interesting presentation and for taking the time to answer all these questions. Uh, as Laura mentioned, you receive your questions on email as well. And of course, you receive also a whole recording of the webinar. So everyone, thank you again for being here and wish you luck with your academic journey. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.